Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Joel chapter 2 verses 28 and 29. <coughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning to give you thanks for another day of life and another day that you have, another work week that you have started for us, dear Lord. I thank you for giving us rest. Thank you for giving us provision and for blessing us even up till this point in this life. Because we know that it's only because of you we can actually open our mouths and speak and give thanks this morning, dear Lord. And this is why we do ask of you each and every day that you sustain our lives, dear Lord. You have permitted that we have this maximable, maximum permissible time. And I just pray that we do not fail or do wrongly by it, dear Lord, but we redeem the days. And these are not just idle words. These are words that we mean. We do not want to come before you on judgment day. And our report is that we were unfaithful servants. We want to be quite the opposite. We want to be faithful servants unto you with this life that you have given unto us. Showing forth your love and your light and your life in our lives, dear Lord. Being led by your Holy Spirit to do your good, acceptable, perfect and holy will. So I just pray for those times when we go astray that you bring us back onto the path of righteousness. And that you keep us from making the same old mistakes, dear Lord. Keep our minds from straying. Keep our lips from speaking foolishly or speaking lies. Keep our hearts from evil. Keep our minds from folly, dear Lord. Keep us wholly in tune with your Holy Spirit so that we can do those things which are pleasing unto you. And we know that <coughs> at the end of the day, when you do return for us, we shall be with you in your glory if we do these things. So help each and every one of us going through our tests and trials, dear Lord. Lead us in spirit and in truth, dear Lord, because... At the end of the day, we know, as you have said, these times and these seasons that you have permitted for our lives is all for your glory. You, lead, you don't do these things idly. You want to reprove us and to clean us from all unrighteousness. But because we are just mere man, we're just mere flesh, we just pr pray that you help us throughout these things because we are unable to do it by ourselves. And as always, I just pray for our children that they're grown up in the way and knowledge of who you are. So when they're of age, they shall not forget or neglect you, dear Lord. So lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Cool. So Joel chapter 2 verse 28 says, sorry, and it shall come to pass afterward that i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions also and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will i pour out my spirit cool all right so yeah this was a prophet prophecy given to us by our lord through the prophet joel right and it's interesting because we read this and we hear this um this prophecy used quite i uh, not quite a yeah i say one of the more known prophecy amongst the body of christ i would say that i've here heard it been referenced um more than said other ones um but how I hear it reference it's been used to say not even yet yeah, justify other things. Say like, for example, I know definitely like there's a doctrine of say there's a big um thing in the church, suppose the church nowadays if women can preach, etc. And this is one scripture that normally gets used. And to be honest, it wasn't speaking anything about preaching. It was just it, it is what it is. It actually said what it said, right? It didn't justify women preaching here, right? But we can actually find in the scripture where 
this prophecy came to pass, right? Prophecy is the foretelling of an event to come, right? This is all what it is. Um, it is the Lord giving us instruction, giving us correction, and giving us, um, telling us what is to come, and what is the consequences or the reward of things, right? Of our actions, right? So when we read the scripture, we can't all the time line up every single thing with today day and age right because as we know we are not the first set of people to live on this earth people have been living on this earth and have been um yeah been consulting the lord the lord wouldn't have just left them yep you fend for yourself i'm just gonna leave all my prophecy to the year 2022 no right yes we have some prophecy that are twofold but as i said there are accounts when prophecies have been fulfilled in the same Bible. It's given and then it's given where it's fulfilled. This is one of these cases because where we read in, in um, Joel chapter 22 and 29, it actually references it in Acts chapter 2 verses 17 and 18 primarily. But if you just read all of Acts chapter 2, it actually tells you that this prophecy has been fulfilled. And what the prophecy was talking about was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the men and women who serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? And it shows it there. The, in that day, the day of Pentecost, um, as I said, they, they, they were there um, worshiping and praising and then the Holy Spirit descended upon them right and um they started to speak in in another tongue right and the people around them couldn't fathom what's going on what, what's what's this strange thing that's going on right so they thought that they were drunk but um peter he standed up as it said in verse 14 with the 11 and lifted up his voice and said unto them ye men of judea and all ye that dwell at jerusalem be this known unto you that and hearken to my words for these are not drunken as ye, as ye suppose seeing it is but the third hour of the day but this is that which was spoken by the prophet joel right so we don't even have to like look we don't have to look into any fight no plain as day right this is that what which was spoken by the prophet joel and it shall come to pass in the last days saith the god I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Right. So as I said, this was the, 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 the um, that that come come to pass. Obviously, the Holy Spirit, even today, is still poured out. So we have. We have this prophecy still acted out in today's day and age when people are baptized with the Holy Spirit. But as we said, this was the initial when that prophecy came to pass. And we have the record and example of what this is. Right. So even in today's day and age, all we have to do is reference it back to Joel chapter 2, 28, Acts chapter 2, 17. Well, say Acts chapter 2. And we know what it's talking about, what the scripture is actually talking about right it's plain as day right so yeah that is that is what i would like to share this morning really yeah yeah pretty much but as we know we don't want to put our our ad or take away from the scripture right we leave it as it is let the, the lord interpret it for us by spirit right and um then everybody would be of one mind in Christ. But when we start adding things to the scripture and try to twist interpretation to suit our own narrative, then that's where we get discord because there's no confusion with the Lord. There's one understanding, right? So obviously, as long as there is some kind of variant, we as human beings, we are in the wrong because Christ, as I said, there's no schism with him. There's no um what they call it division with christ right so i'd just like to share that this morning any questions anything that you want to send in send them into the word at etreach1.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years um i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will 
being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.